Cox is a conglomerate organization. We have about 65,000 employees. Most of Cox's business is in the media and the automotive areas. The project was for us to take our ERP platform, which is PeopleSoft, and um, transition it to uh, Red Hat Linux. We had been in the past a little anxious about taking an application that is as critical for us as as PeopleSoft is. It has payroll in it, and obviously. It has um, other HR activities. It's, it's also directly available to employees, and we have employees across the country in different time zones that are wanting to look at information about their pay or their benefits or whatever. So we had to do it as seamlessly as possible. From engineers to um, application developers to customers and management, we've had nothing but positive reviews. The numbers have drastically decreased as far as certain processes go. Things that used to take 10, 12 hours are taking two and three hours now. So that just that, that in itself reduces the pressure on the system from running at high capacity at the time. The level of complexity in deploying the Oracle Rail application cluster and the impact that had on the architecture, we were doing something that we hadn't done before, um, which was you know, building enterprise Linux systems in a clustered configuration, which we did not have in our previous platform. We provide open enrollment for all of the Cox divisions, not just um, Cox Enterprises, so it becomes extremely critical at that point. We, we, we performed a load test and actually brought it past previous limits and it handled well. We feel very strongly that, that, that it will stand up to it. It's been really successful for us. And it's proving, I mean, if it didn't work out very well with the ERP, we'd be less excited about moving other applications to it. But it's been working out very well. As we do business and we do more business and we do better business and, and there's an uptake in the adoption of, um, or um, if we start adding business units to this platform, then um, the incremental increase that we would need to make to the capacity in, uh, in the infrastructure um, we should be able to handle that now. So we're positioned pretty well for, for any growth there that takes place.